Mastering the modal verb, should, English grammar explained. Hello, language learners. Welcome back to our channel. Today, we're diving into the world of English grammar fundamentals, specifically focusing on the modal verb, should. Should is a really handy modal verb that we often use to express obligation, advice, or logical deduction. So, let's unravel the mysteries of should together. Should is a modal verb used in English to express various states or actions that are not necessarily real or completed. It can indicate obligation, probability, expectation, and advice. It's a versatile and commonly used verb, so mastering it will certainly level up your English speaking and writing skills. When we want to say that something is a good idea or a bad idea, we can use should or shouldn't. For example, you should drink plenty of water every day or you shouldn't smoke, it's bad for your health. Note that should is used in the same form regardless of the subject. There's no S at the end when we're talking about he, she, it, which is often a common mistake for English learners. Let's look at some more examples where should is used. I should finish this report by tomorrow. You should try this new restaurant. The food is amazing. She should apologize for being late. Each of these sentences uses should to suggest an obligation, advice, or expectation. Now, it's time for some practice. I'll provide the beginning of a sentence, and I want you to complete it using should or shouldn't. 1. If you want to lose weight, you blank. 2. They blank visit their grandparents more often. 3. I blank have said that it was rude. Remember, practice makes perfect. So try to incorporate should into your everyday English as much as you can. That wraps up our discussion on the modal verb should. I hope you now feel more confident in understanding when and how to use should. Keep practicing and remember, you should never be afraid to make mistakes. It's part of the learning process. Thanks for tuning in, and as always, keep learning.